Hello! Two thousand years later. I'm just joking, but once we're here, so we're back tomorrow. We'll start fitting up. Oh, good afternoon. I've been at Harborn this morning, had a really good tidy up. You may have already seen that footage. I think uh, Adam's going to do that footage and have a video on for you. So what we've been doing there, just to try and keep you up to date with our jobs we've got going on. So we are in the process now of emptying out everything else out of the uh, the shed, because we're going to ply with the, the ceiling, inside and ply with the ceiling. That job can be done now. So we're going to move some stuff. And then we're finally going to get these risers on. So I'll get them cut to height, the ones that I need to cut to height, because I think I've already told you that they need to be cut down, because they're going to sit on top of that deck board now and go up to the underside of the nose and above. And then I'll cut the holes in to fish all the lights through. And then we've got the pleasure then of going under the decking and trying to feed all these lights in. So there we go, let's see what we got. First one's on, got my holes centred, but the holes are already set out. Screws top and bottom. I've used these uh, green ones that we got initially because we hadn't got the grey ones in stock. They're, they're here now, we'll change the ones over that you can see. But uh, that'll go on there and that's like that. We'll pass these lights through and hopefully be able to get through to that step. As you know, we've already left that loose to do the, exactly what I'm going to do now. I'll cut this to length and we're going to cut it off um, level with that end and then when we put the upright board on which we are going to use those that are left we're going to put those vertical and all you'll see then is you'll see this edge this edge here that slot edge vertically then on the end just to frame it off which would be nice but you're only going to see sort of that little bit anyway on the risers so that'll look great that will but we'll uh, carry on for a little bit I'll put the time lapse on because it, this is just um, repeat now, repeat, repeat. This is what I've got to do in every shred, so there's no point uh, filming much more. Put a bit of a time lapse on for you so you can see us do it. Right, so other than the those little bits, which we're doing tomorrow. The decking's finished. That's where we've left those screws sticking up there because we've got to take that nosing off and do a little return under there to finish that off. Under there, finish that off. Which we're going to do in the, uh, the light colour. We're going to continue this around like that, like that, like that, and all across there. And like I've already said, that bit then will all be filled up to that point. Um, because there's the, there, if you can see that string line now, that, strip, that pink one, you can just about see there, that pink line there goes all the way down there. That's where you're going to pick in the, uh, pick in the dirt up to or landscaping up to, 70 mil high up to there, which is bringing us to the bottom of that tread, which should be right then for the tread height. And then 270 mil there, just in from the wheelbarrow up there, without going above the uh, gravel boards. So there we are. I'll do a little bit more footage tomorrow, just uh, doing this. So thank you for watching so... Hello. Thank you for watching so far. Please continue to do so. And we'll finish this off tomorrow. Hi, Rick. 
Morning. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Morning, sound more, uh, more masculine. Um, and he's in touch with his family inside today, I think, Mick. So, uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. Hello. Say, say good morning to GoPro. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. GoPro. <laughs> I tried him today. You had a nice, uh, nice morning, or was it in dog toffee? After your second, man. After your second. Second calf. Yeah. I thought it said second cack. <laughs> oh, lovely, thank you. They do, yeah. Massively, yeah.
do a pull straight through because it's hot. Right, a bit late this morning in my video. I think it's about half, half 11, 11 o'clock, something like that. So Wayne's here today to uh, do some of the second fixing. So he's got that unit we've been talking about on the on the wall up there. And what happens now is you're going to run a water feed, as we explained before, from here, from down there, all up here, into here. You come across the ceiling because you want to put it there in case there's a leak. And then he'll connect that to that unit and then that will then feed the shower and the hot water next door. So we've also got Steve with us. You haven't seen Steve on the channel before, but he did do a job for us before we started the channel. And Steve's in there just doing the uh, just doing the pipe work for the shower. We just introduce you to the channel, Steve. That's Steve. He works with Wayne quite a lot. So we're just prepping, put a bit of uh, chipboard down there ready for the um, the flooring. So we can put the units on and the toilet on top. So we're not messing about after. Put the unit going there. That's that one. The customer wants this one in there for now. Right, so this uh, water heating unit is in there now, ready to be uh, electric to it. The feeds up above there and it comes down that wall and that's where the mains water will come in there, connect onto it. So the lads have done the shower, fitted the shower for us. They've put that unit in place. We haven't decided yet whether the customer's going to keep that because that was one they wanted to reuse from the house, but we're not sure yet. She, now she's seen it, she may get a grey one. Uh, we put some plower down just so we can set this on and set the... This isn't fixed anyway. We can lift it up, put the vinyl tile underneath, pull that down. Um, porcelain tile. Yeah, what can I say? Luckily, I've got a decent set of drill bits for it. Porcelain drill bits, but uh, so I've drilled that ready. The holes are drilled there now, ready for us to come back. They made the frame up, so they're only doing a couple of hours for us today, just to try and keep us moving. But there we go. Just waiting for the wind delivery now. So hopefully they'll be fitted tomorrow. So the next lot of footage you see after this, fingers crossed, will be window delivery, and then fitting. Let's keep everything crossed, shall we? I am. Right, end of the day. So then me and the driver. And finally, finally, after weeks and weeks, we have doors and windows for the garden room. It was an exciting day. So there we are. And like I just said, it's me and the other lad to get them off. <laughs> That's going to be fun for me, isn't it? Mind you, that window's only four metres by 2.1. It's not as if it's big or anything, is it? Oh, well, and powder coated, so if you touch anything, you can uh, check the paint off. So there we go then, we'll get these under, or taken off and we'll carry on. Right, well there we go. That was uh, not as painful as I thought it was going to be. And to top it off, when it turned up, it stopped raining, the sunshine come out for me, so that's wonderful. There's the doors then. All the glass with the blinds in, which is why we had to wait so long, I'm told. Little windows there, two of them. For the uh, for that one and that one, obscure glass as well for the uh, shed and the toilet window. All the bits we're missing, I believe, is the handles. So I'll just pull this up for tonight, like that. Stop the floor getting so damp. So there we are then. I'm in my home now. The sun's out. Uh, no, no guns out. Um, and we can fit the windows tomorrow, finally, get it watertight, which means we can do everything else, fit the floor and everything, which is wonderful. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to as well, we'd appreciate that. And notification, but if you're already a, a subscriber, ready for the next episode. Cheerio!